transcript is these are the only things that you need if you want it to work. First of all is you must have an internet connection. I have already discussed this on my previous vlog that internet really is a must. You need to have a PC or a laptop but no worries because if you do not have a laptop you can definitely use your Android phone. All Yan here and welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa amin sa mga nanonood ng videos ko. And thank you so much as well for all your positive feedback. Um, it really inspired me to create another content. So, if you're new to our channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification para ma-notify ka sa susunod ko mga videos. Alrighty, so for today's vlog, um, this video will be all about another work from home opportunity. You may not have realized yet, pero ang daming pwedeng maging trabaho online while staying at the comfort of your home, but just simply using your computer and your internet connection. So, you can start with becoming a virtual assistant like me. Um, by the way, you can check out my video on how to become a virtual assistant and earn as much as 400 to 1,000 US dollars or even more by being a virtual assistant. I will also be putting the link on the description below for you to check that out. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and um, leave a comment below or you can connect with me on my social media accounts. The links are also on the description below. So on my previous video, we talked about how to become an English online teacher. Uh, without even having an experience of teaching at all. So here's another opportunity for you to work from home without having a background at all. So this is good for someone who doesn't want to be in front of the camera, who doesn't want to show in front of the camera, and this is also for someone who do not, do not need or you do not have to talk in English and you don't have to communicate in English. All you just have to do is to listen to an audio and transcribe them using the guidelines. Alright, so I am actually not working for this company but I know about audio transcription because this is one of my responsibilities as a virtual assistant. From time to time, I am um, doing audio transcription for um, the podcast interview of my clients. So definitely audio transcription, audio lang talaga siya, walang videos, wala kang makikitang video, just, just a plain audio, napapakinggan mo lang and Ita transcribe mo. Say transcription, you will be putting them into words. Try ko na rin applyan to before ako maging virtual assistant. But I just did not, you know, pursue my application. So the good thing about this is you don't have to undergo initial interview. You don't have to um, do final interview. Walang Skype call, walang ganon. All you just have to do is um, read the guidelines, take the test. You can actually um, take the test for as many times as you can until such time na ma-perfect mo siya or maging tama ang mga sagot mo. So, all you just have to do is um, read the guidelines first on how to transcribe the audio, ano yung mga rules and regulations na pagtatranscribe, paano ka magtatranscribe, and um, kumuha ka na exam, and then after that, you will have to transcribe na the audio. That's the final test that you will have. Papakita ko sa inyo later ko ano yung step by step niya. So the name of that platform is Go Transcript. Go Transcript is one of the platforms where you can apply or offer a transcription job. So all you just have to do is um, go to you pull up any internet browser and go to uh, GoTranscript.com. Once you type on the link you will be directed to this page and you will be asked to sign up of course if you don't have any account yet you can just sign up using your Facebook or you can sign up with Google account but you know for me in my case the very first thing that I need to do is that I did rather is I became a member first of a group an online legit Facebook group that supports transcriptionists for go transcript so 
If you are on your Facebook account, all you have to do is type Go Transcript on the search box. Yeah, on the background, you might be hearing my daughter. <laughs> and you will find Go Transcript Philippines. So this is an online um, Facebook group. The name is Go Transcript Philippines. You can join that. I'm already a member of this group. So this group is actually um, a support group, as I've mentioned, for Go Transcript Filipino transcribers. So uh, this is where you can find, you can definitely ask questions if you have, or you can read the guidelines for transcriptions and all other things related to transcribing an audio with Go Transcript. So if you already are a member of this group, all you just have to do is on your on the left portion of your page, if you are using a desktop or a laptop, you go to files and you would see um just bear with me a moment. My internet is particularly slow. So if you go to their files, you can see there are pin posts. So I suggest that every time you join a group, not just with Go Transcript uh, um, Philippines group, you always have to read their pin posts, you know, for all the rules and regulations. So um, the good thing about Go Transcript is these are the only things that you need if you want it to work. First of all, is you must have an internet connection. I have already discussed this on my previous blog that internet really is a must. You need to have a PC or a laptop, but no worries because if you do not have a laptop, you can definitely use your Android phone. All you just have to do is simply attach an external keyboard and an Android screen magnifier. Ang bongga, di ba? You can check the, um, these items out in Lazada or, you know, in the Arking or wherever. Of course, the headset. I mentioned this several times on my previous vlogs about work from home as well. That headset is a must. I recommend that um, you use Logitech H151. But earphones can be... Um, can be a good start if wala ka pang headset. But definitely, you need to invest in due time. And of course, a very important thing is you will need to pass the test. So, if you scroll right down here, there are actually Go Transcript guidelines that you need to read. I suggest that you study this. You can always go back to these guidelines whenever you want or wherever you are. So, let's click this GT guidelines. So these treaty guidelines, this will be your um, guidelines in transcribing an audio or what are the rules and regulations in transcribing an audio. So definitely, mag-transcribe ka ng audio into text, read the transcription guidelines carefully, um, take your time in reading them and uh, understand them well. So by the way guys, you actually need to have a PayPal or a Pioneer account um, because this is where you will be receiving your payments for go transcript all right so um so i already studied this uh guideline so what i did was i went to the bottom of the page because this is where you can find the link to do the or take the test here you go so when you click this It will ask you to log in if you don't have an account yet. So again, you can sign up with sign in with Facebook or you can sign in with Google. So I already have an account. Um, this is just a 10 item test. By the way, guys, to apply for a transcriber position, you must complete the quiz 100% using AWAR using the guidelines of Go Transcript. So you can actually take this as many times as you can until such time na perfect mo. So, dapat 10 out of 10 ang score mo dito. You will be getting a different quiz um, because I've tried taking the test using a different account. And then, nung nag-log back in ako, it led me to the transcribing audio test na. So, hindi na ako nakabalik sa page na to. I, I had to sign up again using a different account for me to be able to show you this quiz. So let me just go ahead and um, take the test first. 
you know, if in case you don't know how to answer these questions, you can always go back to the guidelines. This here. These are the guidelines. All right. So let's take the test. Pass the test. Um, the ten item test. You can. You will be directed to this page. We're in. This is where you will apply for the transcriber position. This is the last test that you will get. Um, you had you have here a four a uh, four minute and twenty second audio that you will need to transcribe using, of course, the guidelines. And then once you transcribe that, you can send it for review. So um, please be advised that once you send us the, the once you send the completed test, the review process can take up to sixty days. So there are some people that. Or we're able to receive a feedback after a week. There are some people, according to those that I know working for this um, platform, who were able to receive a feedback within 30 to 45 days. So, macho may katagalan, pero di ba, at least, you know, while you are um, waiting for a job, you can look for other opportunity as well. But definitely, this you must give this a try. So, before you can actually start taking the final test, you, you can do an alt test in a man by going to this link. So, if you want, you can try do, doing the alt test para alam mo kung ano yung mga errors mo. Kasi, sa transcription, meron tayong kinatawag na accuracy. So, eto, if you do not prepare the transcription according to the requirements, you might be removed from the team of transcribers. So, dapat, um, you... Yung mga itatranscribe mong audio, nire-rate yan ng mga editors nila. So, eto, 0 to 83% accuracy. Kung rate mo naman is 2, 83 to 88% yung accuracy ng tinanscribe mong audio. Kung 3, edi, pack na pack kasi 88 to 92%. Pag 4 naman, eto yung equivalent. And of course, pag 5, wala ka masyadong mali up to perfect yung accuracy ng audio yung tinanscribe mo. Yun. So, uh, depende kasi yan sa audio na itatranscribe mo guys. Merong medyo mahirap, merong medyo madali, especially kung madali naman siyang pakinggan and yung accent nung speaker na nasa audio is madali lang. So, yun. So, um, anyway, going back, you can take the old test. So, we can practice here. Um, you can select from any of these, transcription test 1, 2, editing test, and 3, para makapag-practice ka muna before ka makapag-transcribe. So, there. There's an audio that you will be listening here, and then you will transcribe lang. So, I'm using my headset uh, while recording this video on my laptop. I will be listening to this while I will be transcribing just to show you lang the practice test. I want to start off by saying... By saying that I know I have an accent. And please don't assume it's please don't assume it's Russian. More and more people are complaining. More people are complaining I have an action. And please don't assume it's Russian. More and more people are complaining. Alright, so I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you have any questions, as I mentioned earlier, you can definitely reach out to me. You can just leave a comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can. If um, you wanted to connect to me on my social media accounts, the links are on the description below. You can definitely send me a message on Instagram, on my Facebook account. 
or on our Facebook. You can leave this video a thumbs up and you can also share this and you can also share this to your friends. So again, thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you again on my next video where we will be talking about more quality contents of working from home. Bye everyone and thank you for watching!